The University of Miami has produced more NFL draft picks than any other school. In fact, as you may know, the Hurricanes are known across the nation simply as the U. There's a high school in our area that's earning its own nickname. Eleanor Roosevelt is the U of high schools. Hard work on three, hard work on three. One, two, three, hard work. The building block of any successful program begins with hard work, and there's no shortage of it at Eleanor Roosevelt High School in Greenbelt, Maryland. Let's go, let's go. Line up, tempo. The tempo that Coach Rick Houchins has established is undeniable. Expectations for success each year are a given. But beyond the team excellence is a tradition Coach Rick dreamt about as a youth coach. It was almost two decades ago when Houchins found an important mentor in DeMatha coach Bill McGregor. He's always putting 15 kids in school every year, and I used to see the papers come out, you know, every day, and they had big pictures of his team and stuff. And I say, you know, why is that not being really done on a public school level? And I always had a passion to be able to coach in high school, so I said, if I ever get an opportunity, I'm going to try and model my program after what Bill's done at DeMatha on a public school level. Uh, I've known Rick for years. Uh, we actually, we go back to the uh, late 80s when Rick used to come down and, and, and train some of our kids. And uh, he's just a great coach, does a great job. And I'm very, very proud of Rick, uh, the accomplishments he, he's done at Eleanor Roosevelt. When Houchins took over the Raider Reigns nine years ago, he wanted to establish a reputation that Roosevelt was the U of high schools. My first year, we put 11 guys in school, and it was like we struck gold then. Now the number of guys headed to college are nearly the same each year. The most significant, Derek Williams, now at Penn State. He played for ER last year, the first and only time a Maryland high school could boast having the best high school player in the nation. Number 55, Matt Rice, is also a Nittany Lion. Derek Harvey making an impact at Florida. There are four Terps that are ER grads, including Josh Allen, injured this year, but with one of the best TDs from last season, and star defensive lineman Trey Covington. Two minutes left. Clock is running. Coach Rick's program is modeled after a college format, something his players know will pay off. I want to play in the NFL. Um, that's going to be one of the major things that I look, look for in the college is who's going to prepare me for the next, the next level. And because of that, once again, Coach Rick has more than a handful of players looking at top Division I schools. It's not fun at times because Rick can be a, he works us, he really does, but it makes us better in the long run. And college coaches like Virginia's Al Groh should know. Cavalier receiver and Roosevelt grad Bud Davis has already made a big impression. Colleges notice that ER players don't just get to college, but they make an impact wherever they play. And if you check, I think, the uh, college resume of the Eleanor Roosevelt players, most of them um, really turn out very well and have a productive career. And, uh, Rick Houchins does a terrific job uh, in kind of setting that value system and those work habits. And when the kids come here, they, they know how to practice and they know how to apply themselves. It's not just Roosevelt's hard work and tradition of winning that has produced so many Division I college football players. It's also Coach Rick's involvement with his team on and off the football field, not just the X's and O's, but academically and personally. Plus, he makes sure each player gets the exposure he deserves. Getting your kids' names out there, really getting film out on your guys, and just you know getting your kids established on the national level. But my, my vision was not to just get them to college. I want them to play in college. Ready, set, Add in the mandatory weekly academic progress reports, and it's clear why the Roosevelt program could be called the U. Perhaps Al Groh describes it best. Oh, it's a must stop, that's for sure. Let's go, D, get ready, babe. You know, I think one of the reasons that coaches thinks it, think it is a must stop is because the players do succeed in college, and they're not just bench warmers. And good to see that they appreciate being pushed so hard. Too. Yeah, they do. Well, you know, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> they're still kids. I play.